Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Taiwo and I am a data scientist. Every week I'll be posting videos on how you can complete some basic tasks in data analytics, business analytics, data science using tools such as Microsoft Power BI, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft SQL Server, Tableau, and so on and so forth. In order not to miss any of our new videos, please subscribe to our channel as well as turn on your notification. Without taking too much of your time, I will just jump right into it. For this week, I'll be showing you how you can quickly import a CSV dataset into Microsoft SQL Server using the Microsoft SQL Server import and export wizard. I wanna believe that you have some form of knowledge of how Microsoft SQL Server works and also what a CSV file is. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is to make sure your Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio is um, opened and you are connected to your database. I mean, you are connected to your server, rather. As you can see, um, I'm already connected to the server, Taiwo Kupului, which is um, a, just a sample server that I created myself. And then what you need to do after that is to like go to the database you want to import that CSV file into. As you can see, I have um, three databases um, that I already created. One says financial sample, the other one says sample jobs, and the third one says um, sample student wellness. These are just um, you know examples of database these are just sample database that are created just like you know do what i need to do they are not um connected to any company whatsoever then you need to right click on um, the database your um data you need to connect to the database that you want to import that csv file into you right click on it and then you go to task and then in the, in the next drop down, you go all the way down to import data. As you can see, we have both import flat file and import data. And I'm going to show you how you can import using this in the next video that I'm going to make. But for tonight, I just wanna show you real quick how you can import your CSV using this um, import um, data wizard. Once you click on that, a window opens up. You click on next. Then you click on this um, arrow facing down and then you're going to see this drop down. Click select flat file source. Next, you click on this section to browse where your CSV file is located on your computer. For, my, for me, it is located in downloads. And as you can see, I have some CSV files that are already downloaded. I'm just gonna select uh, this supermarket sale um, sheet one. And then after that, you click on open. It brings you to this point when you, where you have to like set your text qualifier. For me, I need it to be quotation marks. And then I go to the column on this left side Everything looks good so far. I go to advanced and I need uh, my data set, uh, my data type rather to be text rather than string. So I select everything. This are the column headers. And then I come here to the right side, click right here and then change it from string to text stream. Then I click on next. And then I click on here to select uh, my destination. I'm using Microsoft SQL Server as you know it, so I'm going to click, and click on this native client 11.0. That's what I have. I look at everything. I'm, this is my destination server. This is uh, my destination database. Click on next. I click on next again. And I, you can either click on next or click on finish. It's gonna give you the same thing, take you to this point where you can check if everything looks all right to you and then I click on finish. Depending on how large your file is 
anything from two seconds to two minutes. So in my own case, I have the, this file is very has very little rows. So it has about 1000 rows, which as you can see here shows 1000 rows transferred and the status is showing success. So I can close it. Click on refresh if you need to. You really don't need to do that. Um, expand the database. Uh, click on the table. And then there you have it. This is the file I just um, imported. So if I need to see how, what's in this file, I can right click on it and say um, select top 1000 rows. Or if I need to see um, everything, I can just um, you know select that and click on star. So that will give you star um, select all from this database, and then you can click on execute. That is provided if your um, file has more than one thousand um, rows, and then you'll be able to see everything. As you can see. Everything looks good, everything looks intact, and that's it. Thank you.